Hello, today I'm guide, going to guide you through step by step to the paper making process. Okay, first kind, different kinds of trees produce different textures of paper, wood, like pine, have longer fibers and give paper more strength. Hardwood fiber are shorter but tend to work in printing and writing papers. Hello. Second step to making paper is log truck drivers equip it with a long drum trailer and transport timber from a forest to a paper mill. As long as the truck driver uses chains or the other fashion shop, secure each load while traveling and use a power push to. Hello. The third step to making paper is after several hours in the the chips or or cut down paint until it breaks down into into a thick product and consistently and is blown or squeezed it from the outlet of the digestion of the air. The sudden change in the pressure results in a rapid expansion of the fibers, separating the fibers in the water. Is. To make paper from trees, the raw wood has to be turned into pulp. This pulp is made in, up of wood, fibers, and chemicals that are mixed together. The pulp is sprayed onto a large mesh screen. screen. This creates a mat of pulp that then goes through several processes to have the water removed and dried to, out to become paper. Hello, the sixth step to making paper is this paper may go through the treatments to create different textures. It is in the lamp into a reel. These reels of paper are so large that large cranes have to be used to move them. <laughs> Hello, the ninth, the eighth step of making paper is most paper is made of wood pulp. However, there are other materials that can be used to make paper can be made from cotton, leaf, grass straw, Sugar cane and even beets, or even beets. And plants will determine the kind of paper that can be made from the from particular. Hello, the ninth step of making paper is one thing we use every day, which is not made from paper, but instead from cotton fibers, is paper money is printed on. Paper currency is made from a special blend of lean fibers. This one makes it easier for people who work with money every day, like bank tellers, to tell if the money is real or fake. The blend also makes it harder for people to try and illegally print their own money. That process is called counterfeiting. The tenth step to making paper is, so then the paper goes to the store and people buy the paper. You're wondering, like what? Like notebook paper, sticky notes, and toilet paper. Colored paper and paper towels too.